uh, the chairman for the House Judiciary Committee, Bob Goodlatte, issued a subpoena for the Clinton investigative records of the FBI. Well, he's following Judicial Watch's lead because we sued, I think, last year for these records and the FBI has been turning them over to us. But stonewalling and slow walking the release of the information. Of the 8,000 records that they've processed thus far, and I don't know how many there are, Goodlatte has suggested there's a million records that the IG has reviewed about the Clinton email investigation. And they've only processed 8,000 of them in our case. They've only turned over 1,700 of those. So only a small percentage is ultimately turned over and the rest are being withheld. I can tell you largely because it's not helpful to Hillary Clinton or the FBI institutionally. But I'm glad to see Congress is following Judicial Watch's lead and issuing at least a subpoena for these records. But just think about this. The Republican head of the Judiciary Committee on the Hill can't get cooperation from the nominally, the Republican controlled or nominally controlled FBI and Justice Department. Who is running the show at the FBI and Justice Department? I'm glad Andrew McCabe finally was fired, but the fact he was there for the year and three months he was just shows you how much in control the Obama guard or bastion or whatever you want to call it, deep staters, holdovers, alt-government is over at the FBI Justice Department.